mean, this is our leave. It is September the 22nd, 2019. And I am um, driving from Los Angeles to Whittier. If the phone doesn't ring, because a lot of times I get those unknown caller phone calls. Um, so I'm going to see how the power lines are. So anyways, that gray building back there with the signs right over here. Oh, you can't see with my finger. The one with the, pa uh, the paintings on the side of the wall, that's where I live. That's, we're on Santa Monica Boulevard. Anyways, um, I've been getting a lot of frequencies from the floor, and I use my thermal imaging camera, and it looks like, um, it almost looks like there's something in the floor between the ceiling of the washroom and um, my floor, but I could be wrong. So that's St. Andrew's Place. So the reason why I mentioned St. Andrew's Place is because I get a lot of targeting from, from this area. So actually, I get a lot of it from right in here. And what's interesting is the guy you just seen is always there. But... Um, this building, it is like totally secured. Like, I mean like a fortress. They have cameras all over the place. They have one security gate that is all metal. Um, and you have to have a key. The other entrance, I mean, it is like a thick iron rod gate. And, um, That also is um, very secure. It's more secure than where I live. But also, oops, I ran a red. No, I didn't. But um, what's very interesting about it is I get a lot of frequencies from that direction. I can't pinpoint it, but um, it is from that area. And that's about all. So anyways, um, and I've been getting a lot of targeting to my back. Just everything has uh, kind of increased and stuff. So um, I just have to make sure I document it, but yet make sure I have enough study time for school. And then yesterday I gave my um, cat a bath. So I noticed... Um, I don't know if somebody is like oiling her coat or something because I notice like when her coat when they I can tell when her coat is dirty or it's been oiled and um, so I washed her and I could you could tell by petting I can tell by petting the cat when um, it is uh, dirty so I'm going to just see how that is so we're getting on the uh, 101 south it's a Ventura freeway um, we're just north of Los Angeles so we're kind of between Los Angeles and um, Hollywood it is Los Angeles of so this area so um What's very interesting is I don't know what it is they're putting on her, 
but she's getting like her coat should not be oily I'm not conditioning her at all and there's nothing it's not like the floors filthy because I sweep and mop every day because of all the dusting that goes on so that I'm not really sure what's happening but I gave her a bath last night and I'm try I do it once a week I don't want to have to increase it but um, I might have to and then also I noticed she notices it seems like the main key areas where the targeting comes from she will scratch at those areas now I don't know if she's scratching from those areas because she um, is getting frequencies or she just knows there's something that's coming from that direction I have no way of knowing because I have no way of communicating with her. So anyways, um, right now, like, in getting frequencies down here, as you can see, it's blurry. So that tells me that they have it on full blast, the frequencies. And they probably don't realize, like, I'm recording. So you can see it. it's blurry it's blurry because of the frequencies that are going on so now it just cleared up so we are just north there's downtown LA in front of that car so anyways um this is my ride from Los Angeles to Whittier um, I wonder if I played classical music if I would get that much slack for it because I don't want to record and then all of a sudden like I can't play the video at all. But the one thing uh, interesting that's happened is the other night and it's on Twitter. I'm not sure. I think it's on YouTube too. I did a YouTube video about it. I came home late at night, okay, so this guy is across the street walking up Vermont, out of the blues, and there's not a lot of people walking because where I park on Vermont, there's no reason to be hanging out there because one side is all ivory wall because of the cemetery, and then is Paramount Studios. You can't, there's no, there's no reason for you to hang out there because there's no entrance or anything. On this, you're security guard. And then, um, the other one is, oh, I get a lot of this. I don't know if they hit each other, but. Well, anyway, so then I get a lot of that. And so there's no reason, first of all, to be on that street. The buses aren't running. There's no even no bus stop on that street. And um, then across from it is the school. It takes up half of the block. So the only person that would be there is the night security guard. And that is it. And so um, what happened is the guy pops out of the blue. Then, um, what happens is he pops out of the blue. Then he's just hanging across the street. Well, I have a bunch of groceries and I have to strategically place them on a bag. And so, oh, is it working? Yeah. So anyways, um, he crosses the street and stands by the light pole, the, um, Department of Water and Power pole. See, when you have a car like this and you're always around me off and on on the freeway, you stand out. When you have it fixed differently or you have these bright odd colors or you have like these custom plates 
like our dead giveaway but anyways so anyways he just stood standing there so I was getting my groceries together and stuff still standing there like eight minutes went by and he was still standing there so then I put him on periscope which went for another eight minutes then he goes across the street and hides behind this black 4x4 truck that you see in the video. Then, after a while, he starts walking up Vermont and then he goes right on um, Santa Monica Boulevard. And so, um, what's interesting is, is that I think I've seen him in my apartment building. And then, I mean, no offense, come to find out my apartment building is Section 8, which I really don't like to be an apartment that's Section 8. But anyways, it's too late to do about that. I did not know, and I should have asked. That was one thing when I was looking for an apartment. I was just trying to get my cat an apartment that took cats and that had openings, basically, at that time. So, um... I just thought, well, if it is Section 8, that means you have people that are limited income. And it would be very easy to automatically, like, get people to uh, start participating and stuff. Because you're already on a limited income and you can probably make some extra money um, without a money trail. That's the way I look at it. And then, um, anyway, so the guy took off. So whenever I come across somebody like that, I mean, I'm going to put them on Periscope, especially if it's late at night. You're not going to scare me, but you are going to put up a warning flag, and I will videotape you. I could care less. So if you follow me and you want to do that, just know I will... I will put you on Periscope. Call the police. We can discuss with them why you're following me or why you're standing around me, like stalking me. I have no problem in that. And I have a tailgater. I get tailgaters once in a while behind me, like that car. They'll tailgate. And then after a while, they'll back off. That one is a, I can tell it's a Honda. I'm not sure if it's a CRV, but um, it was tailgating. So if you tailgate, I will videotape you. So the tailgater is going to pass by right now. And I was right, it is a Honda CRV that was tailgating. Now, that one actually rode along the emergency lane and came behind me. So, that was intentional. And I went to the management office today to talk to them because <clears throat> when I first moved in, um, there was a security company. They were uniformed and stuff. I don't think they were guns. I'm not sure. But they were very professional. Like, they came, they reported in the office, they got cell phones, and they had a scan. So, like, um, I know where I'm at, by me, there's like a fire extinguisher or uh, where they have a fire hose. So, throughout the building, there's, I guess, these chips, and they, um, scan so that it reads that they covered that perimeter of the building. Well, I don't know why they got rid of them. To me, they were very good because I come home sometimes, it's 1, 2 in the morning, and they're out patrolling, you know, and um, I really felt comfortable. But, and they made sure the laundry room was closed because the laundry room has hours. It's supposed to be closed at 9 or 10 at night. Well, um, what happened was, is for some unknown reason, they stopped using them. I don't know why, but they stopped using them. And, um, I have no reason to know why they did, but they did. And so, um, what happened. I didn't ask, but then they started
started using this uh, security company and um, this security company was um, they wore like t-shirts or polo shirts with security on it and it was a big joke because what happened was let me see if my video is still working yeah so anyways what happened was is that they um on the wrong ship so what happened was um i would come in and they would have the front door of the apartment building propped open anyone could go they would not they would not um i asked about the laundry room he goes oh yeah i'm supposed to lock it but uh, I didn't and so they leave the laundry room open all night long So that even makes it easier for anyone to come and target me because my apartment is right over the entrance so um, It opens it up to anybody and for me in speculating my targeting it opens it up to anybody Whereas when the doors locked then I can kind of figure narrow um, my targeting options as far as that goes so I would come and uh, they're just eating pizza by the front door just kicking it and having pizza like it's nothing so um, that's what was happening and um, I forgot to ask the manager yesterday so, um, I went in today before I left, and the girl was telling me that they hired uh, a new security company that's going to start soon. So, uh, she doesn't know exactly when, but um, that's some relief, but we'll see how that goes, because this is a joke. And so I did a video about them eating their pizza in the front. And so I come to find out, I don't see them anymore. You know what they're doing? They're eating their pizza on the third floor. But I think they live here. I think there's security, but they actually live in the apartment building. Because when they're not working, I see them in the apartment building. So um, just like when the girls, I don't know which one, uh, I guess she works evening. But uh, one of the security guards from the prior security company was telling me that uh, she lived there. So I thought that was interesting, but I don't know. So hopefully the security will be better. I've never um, seen it the way it is. Now I know they can prop the door when I come at one in the morning or something if the doors propped I will unprop it and I will close the door and there are people that will stand there and they will wait to be let in when I see that happen I videotape them because that tells me you have no business being in the apartment building and if you say oh my family you know they need it or something you can get another one. You can just pay for it, but you can you can get another um, uh, key card. So that tells me they don't belong here. And then another thing that's really interesting, I see more and more people, what I call they do that apartment time sharing, where um, they, um, it's like you see them for a week and then after that there's someone else in their apartment and then you see them back and then the people that leave that are there they come like with roll